One complaint I hear from some new Tonex users is that when they load up a tone model as it's captured, they're not blown away by the sound. They feel something is missing, and they feel like maybe the default tones don't sound that great. Now, obviously, this is going to be very dependent on what tone model you're using, but one of the reasons that could possibly be making people feel it's not sounding right is the lack of reverb that is being used when we load up a tone model by default. So here is a capture, one of my latest captures, and one of my favorite new ones based off of my incredible orange OR30 amp. The links are below to these tone model collections on my website, and I'll play you a demo video later in the mix of hearing what these sound like when used together in the mix. Now, the thing about it is when we capture a tone model, when we load up a raw tone model, you'll notice we don't have noise gate, compression, reverb, or any of the advanced parameters tweaked. So with a capture like this, this is what we get. <laughs> Now, I have no problem with that tone. In fact, I really like it. I find it very inspiring, but it is very dry. When we are recording direct, we're going to have a very dry tone, especially if we're listening on headphones, let's say, which a lot of people do. We're not even getting any interaction from the room we're in. So it's going to be very bone dry and it can be a little bit jarring when we are used to maybe having a little bit more ambience from the room we're in or just simply from reverb that we've added from whether it's software or pedals. So one thing that I always recommend folks do is at least at least turn the reverb on, come in here to the room reverb, bring this time down even to let's say two and a half or three. I usually bump the pre-delay up to 10 or 20 milliseconds. Leave the color alone if you want, but you can mess with that after. And bring that mix up to maybe around 30. And just something this simple. <laughs> even if we were to bring that mix down lower to 20 and the time even lower down to two. Even that amount of reverb is not going to make it sound like we're adding tons of reverb to the tone. It's just going to get rid of that really bone dry direct effect. <laughs> that we could find very jarring and unnatural to listen to. So if you're finding that the tone model you're testing out isn't very inspiring, maybe you want to add just a touch of reverb to give it a little more realism. I hope that that tip helps. I hope you enjoy the music on the way out. Links are below to all the tone models you'll have heard in today's video. Mm -hmm.